Hello everyone, welcome back to another video about GPT-4. In today's video, I'll discuss about Microsoft Visual Chat GPT, which combines Chat GPT with series of visual foundation models to enable image sharing during chats. We will also be taking a closer look at demo of Visual Chat GPT, which is now available on Hugging Face and accessible through Google Colab. So stick till then, let's get started. So before we get started, let's have a look at uh, the basic details on their GitHub page. You'll find the details about this project where it clearly says that Visual Chat GPT connects Chat GPT and series of visual foundation models to enable sending and receiving images during chatting. And there is a paper, research paper about this, which was released on 8th March. So I'll provide the link of this uh, research paper. You can go and have a look if you're interested. And if you come little down, you will find that latest update, what is going on. Recently, they have uh, given the support for Chinese language as well. And apart from that, uh, you have some demo videos here and then system architecture, right? And then we have quick start section where it talks about how you can set up this on your local system. But I believe that, you know, uh, local system, you need a lot of GPU and CPU uh, required to run this. So that's why we will use uh, Collab and Hugging Face interface uh, so that we don't have to have a very high end specification laptops, okay? To access Hugging Face or Collab, uh, you'll find a link here. You can click on this and this. So once you click here, you will be redirected to Collab and you'll find here that uh, we have some set of code written already in the notebook, uh, which we just need to run. So before we run, uh, all you need to do is you need to set your open API keys. And how will you get the key? If I've already discussed multiple times, but let me tell you once again. So here in API keys, you will find this create new secret key. Click on this and it will create a key for you. Once you have the key, you can provide that key here and save it. Uh, when you are saving this, you need to save this in your uh, Google Drive. That's all. And once everything is done, what we need to do is just go ahead and run this cell, right? So let me do that. So when you run all the cell except the last one, you should not run this because this is for killing the Python program here. So once everything is up, you will find this link. Uh, this will be generated and random for everyone. So once you click on this, you will be redirected to another page. Here you can select your preferable language. I'll go with English. Now you have an option here where you can provide a prompt and then you can add a image as well. So let's go ahead and uh, provide our own prompt. So I'm going with something very simple here. Uh, create a image of a dog. So let's see what we get. So we do have a image here. So let's turn this image into can image. Convert this to can image. And I'll provide this path here. Enter. So it has converted into can image. Let's try something different this time. So we have uploaded the image from the local system. Let's ask some question on that. So let's see. So we have the answer. This image shows a bird sitting on a branch. That's great. So let's create something out of this image. Create a can image of that bird. Hit enter. So it has created this. Okay, now let's generate some other image out of this. Create a red bird from this can image. image hit enter okay it has generated something really random uh, this is not something i expected so i'm going to try once more create a can red bird from this can image so i'll just provide this image reference i think it is confused which image i was referring to so let's go ahead and provide that and hit enter and maybe we should have a correct image this time and this is perfect right this is really awesome so we turn this image to this image by just command in a chat box. So let's go ahead and try this on Hugging Face now. To use in Hugging Face, uh, you need to provide your API keys here. After providing API key, hit enter and it will be saved. Select the language which you want and then we have upload, clear and run option here, right? So I'll just go ahead and upload some image here and we can ask question on top of that. So let's select this portrait image or maybe this one. So you'll see that, you know, image has been uploaded, received. Let's ask question on that. Uh, can you describe image here? Describe the image and run. So we have some prompt here. Uh, if you see, make it like a water painting. So select here and provide this image reference and see if it can do this or not. Run this. So it didn't create the image of oil painting of this uh, picture. 
and I've noticed this issue with uh, hugging face interface that it doesn't take the second set of command it always provide only the first set of question so that's all for the day guys if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video